We're going to have a look at using the grids on the 2D design tool. Uh, the grid is a facility that we should be using on every drawing. Um, and if you look at the toolbar on the top right, you'll see that we've got two grid options. Uh, we're going to start off by having a look at grid locks. If I click on grid lock to select it, um, let's just go over to the shapes and select a rectangle. And you can see that my cursor is snapping to the grid points. So I can draw a nice even rectangle using the grid. Um, above that I've actually got um, the grid which I can make disappear. Uh, when I do that you might notice if the resolution is quite good on this software you might notice that it's actually deleted uh, some points of my rectangle as well. They're actually still there, it's just that the pixel's gone where that particular line was. If I go up to redraw, which is the windscreen wiper icon up here, and click that, I get it back again. So let's just put the grid back on again. Uh, the step lock is another grid that you've got available to you, but it's a grid that's not shown, so it's an invisible grid. If I just zoom in now, so you can get a better view, um, again, if I do the same exercise, so I'm on my rectangular tool, and again, it, you can see it's snapping to points, invisible points, and it's actually snapping to points that are one millimeter apart. So again, I can drag a rectangle to the size I want. Uh, if I want to change the grid spacing or the step spacing, if I go over to the icon and double click on it, it gives me the option to change from the default setting. So the default setting for grid spacing is 10. So I'm going to change that to 5. Press OK. And you'll see my grid now has appeared. So we've got 5 millimeter spacings. OK, I'm just going to move that back. Change it back to 10. Like so. Press OK. Right, what I'm going to show you now is how to get your drawing back onto a grid if you accidentally move it off the grid. You should always be working on a grid uh, unless you're doing things like tracing or you know there's specific things where you have to come off the grid. But if you accidentally come off it, so I'm going to deliberately come off it, so I'm going to remove grid lock and just take it down like that. Now you can play around with that and you can try and move it back onto the grid but you'll never get it absolutely perfect. So I'm going to select my rectangle. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select the transform icon. And it asks me whether I want to replace it or repeat it. Now I'm not, I don't want to copy it so I'm going to replace it. So I just press OK. Um, I'm going to go over to attach. And I'm going to go down to the corner and I'm just going to attach onto the corner there. And I'm going to try and attach it to the grid. I say try, I'm going to. Uh, so now if I click that, it will snap it straight up back onto the grid again. So there we go. Uh, one last thing I'm going to show you, if I just get rid of this. Now 2D Design Tools is predominantly a drawing board 2D software package. But you can, let's just come off the grid lock, you can, if I double click on the grid, you'll actually get an option to change it to isometrics. If I do that, it's OK, pop grid lock back on, I've got an, a standard isometric grid, and you can just have a play, just do a little staircase over here. Done that wrong anyway. Just go back and change that a so Let's just go up there. That should be. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to move the drawing down a bit so you can see it. There we go. Oh, I've gone off the grid there. Never mind. 
Okay, I'm just going to go back and I'm going to delete that line that I made a mistake with there. There we go. And what I'll do is as well, I think I'll move the whole lot down. So if I just select it all, staying on gridlock, and just move it down. There we go. Uh, if I get rid of grid now, uh, you'll see that it's actually made it disappear. So if I just go to redraw, I get it back again. So you can use it for isometric work, but as I say, it's predominantly used for sort of orthographic drawing and, and two-dimensional drawing. So that's using the grids.